you confused about all these different diffusing methods and what they do for your curls? Look no further than this video, my girls and guys. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this. Hello, my curlies. Erica here from Coils and Curls. Welcome back to another Frizz Free Friday. I am showing you what all of these different methods are, what they do, and why you would use them instead of a different method. These methods are all meant for wavy, curly, and coily hair. So no matter what type of curl pattern you have, there is a diffusing method for you. <laughs> This method involves cradling your curls in a silk or satin scarf. You have to prop your diffuser, blow dryer, or whatever you have behind you. Is it, I don't want to use the A word, is it my age? But if you want to go for the hammock diffusing, knock yourselves out, my curlies. I think it's too much work. And I think if you have a bowl diffuser that doesn't blow your hair all over. Now, my curlies, when you think about the hammock method, this is pretty much the hammock method using your diffuser. You don't need a silk scarf. You don't need to rig your blow dryer to sit hands free. You get the Bellissima Diphon Supreme and it doesn't blow your curls anywhere, as you can see. Okay. <laughs> so next we have hover diffusing methods. Really? It needs a name. Back in the day, we used to call it holding the blow dryer away from your head, focused in a downward position. Now, if any of you remember, we had those huge, clunky, concussion-causing diffusers. My curlies, who were my age, 57, or in that vicinity, remembers those concussion-causing diffusers. Now, the thing about hover diffusing, if you have a thick head of hair, then hover diffusing is good. But if you have finer thinning hair, like the rest of my curlies, we need to put clips in, we need to make our hair look fuller. Let me show you. I do this for you, my curlies. I don't have time for this shit. But seriously, when I used the hot sock diffuser, this is really what I did. It was the hover method, unless I cradled my curls while hitting it with the meat. But of course, I would always switch around so that it wasn't laying flat to my head. This is why we use so many different methods when we diffuse curly, wavy, or coily hair, because one method alone is not going to do it. Now, if you are liking this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below while you're watching. And if you have not subscribed, I hope you do so. If you hit the bell icon and you go all the way up to all, you will get notified every time a new video posts. Just make sure that you have notifications enabled for YouTube, otherwise, you will not get the notifications. I have a fun announcement about what I do in my spare time, so stay tuned until the end for that announcement. Method number three. This one is pick diffusing. Either you use a pick or you use a rat tail comb. You lift pieces so they are lifted away from your scalp. You are pretty much hover diffusing it just gives you that lift without having to move in all the different directions that a curly needs to move in. If you have such thin, baby fine hair that as soon as you touch it, it starts to frizz, the pick method might work better for you. People like my mom might have a better chance of not creating frizz using the pick with the Bellissima Diffon Diffuser. 
because don't forget my mother got one for Hanukkah. <laughs> now we are moving on to the fourth method. <laughs> okay, my girlies, this method is called the pixie diffusing method. I mean, really? This is the one I had to look up when one of my subscribers said it in a comment. I was like, what the hell is a pixie diffusing? Want to know what it is? It's what I tell my clients to do. It's what I do. You take the diffuser, you cradle the girls, you cup them up to the head. This is how you tighten waves or curls that you want tighter. If you are cradling your curls with a diffuser, doesn't that sound familiar to you? Like the hammock diffusing method? Come on. So let's show you the fixie method. <laughs> this is what you see me doing all of the time. If you want to combine, lift with your pick while you are pixie diffusing. <laughs> I'm being silly, I know. Do we really need five different methods? <laughs> that is your pixie diffusing, using a pick to help. <laughs> okay, we have our last method coming up. But before that last method, do you want one-on-one -on -one time with me, the curl whisperer? If you would like a video consultation with me, where we go over what products you're using, what you're not liking about your products. If you're having trouble styling your hair and you need that one-on-one -on -one for someone to really show you what to do, I'm your girl. This is what I do. I love to teach men and women how to embrace their curls and love them. So if you're having trouble figuring out the best way to style your curls, you're getting too much frizz, you don't know what you're doing wrong, that's when a video consultation will come in handy. We will do it together one-on-one. -on -one. Go to my website, www.curldresser.com. All of the information is on my website. You can even message me at the very bottom of my page. You will see a message section, or you can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. There's always a way to reach me. This could be the perfect Mother's Day gift for you, if I do say so myself. The last method of diffusing I did before I started this entire video because it makes my hair look wacky and I just figured, let's get it out of the way and do it before anything. Now, upside down diffusing is really meant for people with longer hair heavier hair and thicker hair than most of us have once we've hit 50. Hmm. When I was young, I could do the upside down. Here's a perfect example. My hair was so thick and heavy that if I did it upright, I was getting no volume. But when I flipped over, I got a lot of volume, a lot of bounce, a lot of movement, which you tend to not get when you have that longer curly hair. But that gave it to me. And I could dry my hair upside down the entire time, my girlies. I can't do that now. So you are going to see what my hair looked like when I diffused it upside down before I started this video. So you'll see what it looks like now when you flip upside down and you have short, mature hair. Are you ready, my curlies? Because this is going to be frightening. <laughs> yeah, it's a little Medusa-like, don't you think? Now that my hair is so much finer and thinner in density and shorter, it tends to have a mind of its own when you flip upside down and use the upside down method. <laughs> Normally, I have an issue because of my top section, it just never looks right. It could be a little drier, 
The upside down method is helpful to get that last scalp bit dry for those of us who are thinning due to perimenopause, menopause, hormonal changes, chemotherapy, radiation. As our hair thins, we have to change what we do because our hair has changed. Do I finish? See, see this weird shit happening here? This is, this is weird stuff. This is not what it's supposed to do. Even if you decrunchify it, it's still going to be flipping that way. This is why I do not do upside down anymore. Okay, so you saw my Medusa look. Isn't it attractive? So the upside down method is great for finishing when our hair is finer, thinner, less density, and shorter. Now I'm gonna finish drying in the upside down technique and you'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, now that I am fully dry, it is time to de-crunchify. De-crunchify, right there, my word. <laughs> we are going to de-crunchify today with the Inner Sense Organic Beauty I Create Shine. Emulsify it to awaken all of the fragrances and all of the ingredients that are cold pressed. Stop and smell. I'm not big on flowers, but this lotus flower smell really has me hooked. Hooked, I tell you. Decrunchify, we are going to flip and fluff. Hey, it's always a gamble when I come up and see what my hair looks like. Ah, not too bad. Well, my curlies. This was the five different diffusing methods that we didn't have for decades. I'm sorry, I'm old school. What can I tell you? I don't get it. Ah, oh, but I digress. Okay, big announcement. My curlies, you know that this time of year is my busy time of year. We know why. Because it is time next week for the opening of Brian's Pond. Yes, my father's pond is getting turned on sometime next week. We are trying to do it in between the rain we are expecting. And I will hopefully bring that to you because you guys got to see what it looked like last year. But now you are going to see the very beginning of what happens when Erica needs to clean the pond. <laughs> it's fun. I'm in waders sometimes in the pond. Sometimes I'm just in my waterproof boots in the pond, vacuuming out all of the muck and the fish poop. So if you are not familiar with Brian's Pond, you might want to check out the video and see what I am talking about. Thank you for watching my curlies. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Cheers and ciao for now. Before the mic goes on, cheers my girlies. This is the cup that my daughter bought me in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Drink. So, where am I going with this? Oh my god, I did it again. Two shots of tequila, I'm shot. But if you want to go with the, what the hell is it called? Oh, this totally came undone. Very lovely. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's not... And those of you who... And those of you who have been with me... And those of you who have been... Oh, yeah, yeah. The face. <laughs> so that they're lifted away from your curls. This could be the perfect... <laughs> It is that way, right? Yes, it is that way. Okay. Just making sure. You know this time of year gets super busy. No, 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 no.